Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. This time I show you how to make a modern cable stitch hoodie. A few of you have been asking for a new hoodie, and it's hoodie season where I'm at, so I thought now's the perfect time and I'm happy with the results. If you are too, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If not, click the thumbs down two times. Either way, it's a free way to lend support so I can keep making awesome tutorials twice a week. And if you don't want to miss out on those videos, consider clicking the bell. It's the easiest way to know exactly when new tutorials go live. Now it's time to get on with the show, so without further ado. For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I use a total of 850 grams of yarn, and that's 1000 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5 and 6 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us your favorite way to have pumpkin. For me, this might be a little different spin, but I enjoy pumpkin scented candles because I haven't had a lot of pumpkin in my life. I should get on that. Details for the giveaway down below. You're using six stitches for this project and they'll be as follows. Main. Slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet. and double treble crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video. So let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first gonna grab our category four yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we are all going to grab our five millimeter hook. And for every size, we are all gonna start by making a chain of 16. And now that we have our chain, we are going to block off that last chain and do a chain two. There's one, there's two. Now that chain two doesn't count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain. And what we're gonna do from here is yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet, and then into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook, insert with a half double crochet. So you're gonna insert your hook into that chain, yarn over, pull through, should be three loops on our hook, so yarn over, pull through all three. There's our first half double crochet. Now let's do our next one. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. Continue to put one half double crochet into every chain. So now that we have our first half double crochet row, we're gonna be doing one more half double crochet row. So just like how we started the previous row, do a chain two, that still doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain, and flip your work. And from here, we're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch until we reach the end of the row. Let's just do the next one together. Start with the yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Continue to put one half double crochet into every stitch. So now that we have our first two half double crochet rows all finished up, we're now gonna get started on our first cable stitch row or our row number three. So how that's gonna work is start with a chain two and flip your work. Now every cable stitch row is going to be worked into the previous odd number row. So to get this started, we're going to do a front post treble crochet. So how that's gonna work is we're going to yarn over twice and then into our row number one, we're gonna find that first half double crochet, not counting that chain two, and then we're gonna insert our hook underneath that half double crochet with the front post treble. So we're gonna start right bringing our hook down to that first half double crochet. We're gonna bring our hook underneath and through the other side. From here, we're going to yarn over, pull through, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through two until we have just one loop left on our hook. So yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, 
fold through two, turn over, and fold through two. Now there is our first front post treble crochet. And now to get started on our actual cable stitch section, we're going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets into the third and fourth half double crochet from our row one. So counting all together, this is our first half double crochet. Here's our second. And then our set of front post double treble crochets is going to be worked into the next two stitches. Now to do our front post double treble crochet, we're going to yarn over three times. So there's one, there's two, and then there's three. So like I said, we are going to skip one, skip two, then underneath that third, bring your hook underneath that half double crochet through the other side, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through. And from here, we're going to yarn over and pull through two until we have one loop left on our hook again. So start with the yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's our first front post double treble crochet, and we're going to be doing one more into that next half double crochet as well. So just like the previous one, start with a yarn over of three, find that next half double crochet, and then insert your hook underneath. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now to make sure that our cable can twist, we're going to be putting one front post double treble crochet into the two stitches that we skipped. So starting with a yarn over of three, we're going to bring our hook down to that first half double crochet that we skipped. We're going to bring our hook underneath, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now there's our first one. We're going to be doing one more into that next half double crochet. So start with a yarn over of three again, and bring your hook down underneath that skipped half double crochet. Yarn over and pull through. And then from here, just yarn over and pull through two until we have one loop left on our hook. And now that we have the twist portion, we're going to close this cable off with doing one front post treble crochet into each of the next two stitches. So that is going to be a yarn over of two. Bring your hook down underneath that next half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to be doing one more into that next half double crochet. So yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that following half double crochet. Pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now that we have this cable stitch section, we're going to close this off with one front post treble crochet. So start with a yarn over of two. Into that following stitch, we're going to yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And now that this cable is all finished up, we're just going to do a chain that's going to help prep us for our alpine stitch section. Now, after our chain, we're going to be doing another cable stitch along this side, so let's get that started. So we're actually going to be doing another front post treble crochet into the same stitch that our previous front post treble crochet was worked into because we wanted to have a sharing point. So start with a yarn over of two. We're going to bring our hook down into that same half double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now from here we can get started on this cable. So how this cable is going to start off is by doing two front post treble crochets into the next two stitches. So start with a yarn over of two, bring your hook down into that next half double crochet with one front post treble. And then also into that following stitch with another front post treble. And then what we're going to do from here is a set of two front post double treble crochets into the third and fourth stitch from our work. 
So this is the first half double crochet. This is the second. And then into the third and fourth, we're going to be putting one front post double treble crochet into each. So start with a yarn over of three. We are going to skip one, skip two, and then into that third, insert your hook with one front post double treble. And then into that following stitch, another front post double treble crochet. Now from here, we're going to work on our twist and it's going to be a set of two front post double treble crochets into the two stitches that we skipped, but we're going to be working in through that window that we just made for ourselves. So let's start by doing a yarn over of three. We're going to hang on to our work yarn because it can very easily fall off our hook. And from here, we're going to pull our work down, finding these two stitches that we skipped in that window. So we're going to pull our work down. And then as you guys can see, this is the first stitch that I skipped. And this is my second. I'm going to start by bringing my hook down underneath that first skipped stitch. And then do my front post double treble crochet per usual. So yarn over and continue to pull through two until there's just one loop left on our hook. Now that's what the twist should look like and we have one more left to do. So yarn over three times again. Hang on to your work and then pull down. Find that last stitch that we skipped. Bring your hook underneath. Yarn over, pull through. And then yarn over and pull through two until there's just one loop left on our hook. Now that is my last front post double treble crochet that I have for this side of my cable. And we're now going to close it off with a front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice. Into that second to last half double crochet from our row one, we're going to bring our hook underneath, yarn over, and pull through. Now we should have four loops left on our hook and just continue to pull through two until we have one loop left. So yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And then just to make sure that our cable stitch row is secure, we're going to half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. So start with the yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitch, yarn over, pull through, should have three loops on our hook. So yarn over, pull through all three. And this is what our row number three should be looking like. Now, once we have this, all of our even number rows are going to be half double crochet rows with no increases and no decreases. So start with a chain two, flip our work, and we are going to put one half double crochet into every stitch. So our half double crochet row is all finished up for our row number four. And now we're gonna get started on our row five or our second cable stitch row together. So we're gonna start by doing a chain two. That chain two still doesn't count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain. And the first cable that we're going to do for our row five is actually going to be a repeat of the second cable stitch that we did for our row three. So as a refresher, let's get that started together. Now each of our cable stitch rows is going to be worked into the previous odd number row or the previous cable stitch row. So to get this row started, we're always going to start with a front post treble crochet. We're going to skip over the half double crochet and then find the first stitch from our previous cable row. Go ahead and bring your hook underneath that stitch. And then we're going to do a front post treble crochet. So just yarn over and pull through two until we have just one loop left on our hook. And now from here to get started with our cable stitch, we're going to start with a set of two front post treble crochets into the first two stitches. So start with a yarn over of two. We're going to find that first stitch from our previous cable row, bring our hook underneath that stitch with one front post treble. And then into the following stitch as well. Yarn over twice, bring your hook underneath, Pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now from here, we're going to be doing a set of two front post double treble crochets into the third and fourth stitch from where we're at. So start with a yarn over of three. And from here, we're going to skip one, 
skip two, and then into that third, there's our first front post double treble crochet. And then into the following stitch as well with another front post double treble crochet. Now from here, we should have this gap. We're gonna be doing a set of two front post double treble crochets working into that window that we made for ourselves. So start with a yarn over three, hang on to our working yarn, and then we're going to pull our work down, finding those two stitches that we skipped. So there's one and there's two. Insert your hook underneath that first stitch that we have, and then do one front post double treble crochet. And then one more front post double treble crochet into that following stitch that we skipped. Yarn over three times, bring our work down and find that last stitch. Insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, two, and then two. And that is our cable stitch. Now to close off each cable stitch section, we are always going to do a front post treble crochet or pillar is what we're gonna call it for video's sake. So yarn over twice and then into that following stitch with one front post treble crochet. And now our first cable is all finished up. Now preparing for our alpine stitches, we are actually going to be doing an increase of three half double crochets into the ninth stitch from our previous row. And we're working into the ninth because we have a total of eight stitches right here. So taking a look at our previous row, we're gonna count out together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. Into that ninth stitch, we're gonna insert with one half double crochet. And then we're going to be doing two more into that same stitch. So insert with your second, and insert with your third half double crochet. And then from there, we're gonna get started on our next cable section. And this next cable for our row number five is going to be a repeat of the first cable that we did for row three. So to get that started, we're going to do a front post treble crochet into that next available stitch from our previous cable row. So bring your hook down into that stitch. And then from here, we're going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets into the third and fourth stitch. So yarn over three times. We're going to skip one, skip two, and then underneath that third front post double treble crochet, there goes another front post double treble. We're gonna be doing one more into the following stitch as well. So yarn over three times, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two until we have one loop left on our hook. Now once we have that, we're going to be doing a set of two front post double treble crochets into the two stitches that we skipped. Starting with that first one, we're going to yarn over three times, bring our hook underneath that first stitch, pull through, pull through two, 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 and then two, and then underneath that next stitch as well. And now that we have that, we need to close off this cable stitch with a set of two front post treble crochets into the following two stitches. So yarn over twice into that next stitch. There goes our first front post treble crochet. And then into that following stitch, our second front post treble crochet. And then to close off this row overall, we have one more front post treble crochet to do or our pillar. So yarn over twice. Insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous cable row with a front post treble crochet. And then to secure this row down, we're going to yarn over and put one half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. And this is what our row five should be looking like. Once we have this, we're going to do our row six. And like I said, each of our even numbered rows 
is going to be a half double crochet row, making our way all the way back down with no increases and no decreases. So do a chain two, flip our work, and then we're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch. All right, so our row six is all finished up and now we're gonna get started with our row seven. So that's gonna start with a chain two and flip your work. Now for the cable stitch sections, they're actually going to be a repeat of rows three and five. So since we're getting started on a row seven, we're gonna start with our repeat of row three. So let's get that cable stitch started. Always start off with a front post treble crochet into the previous cable stitch row. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into there. And then to get started on our repeat of row three, we're going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets into the third and fourth stitch. So yarn over three times. We're going to skip one, skip two, and then underneath that third, there goes our first front post double treble crochet. And then underneath that following, another front post double treble crochet. Now working into the two stitches that we skipped, another set of two front post double treble crochets. And then to close off our repeat of row three's cable, we're going to do a set of two front post treble crochets into the last two stitches. And now that this cable stitch is all finished up, you're always going to close it off with a front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice, insert your hook underneath with one front post treble crochet. And now to get started with our alpine stitch section, we're all gonna start by inserting a hook into ninth stitch from our previous row with a half double crochet. So counting this out together, here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. Into that ninth stitch, we're going to put one half double crochet. And then from here, we're going to put one front post double crochet into that middle half double crochet that we have for our increase. So yarn over just once, and then underneath that middle half double crochet, we're going to insert our hook underneath, yarn over and pull through. Now for the alpine stitch section, we do want it to have the same height as our half double crochet. So from here, once we have three loops on our hook, we're gonna pull it up nice and tall. We're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Now there's our first front post double crochet. Now we do need to continue to increase within the alpine section. So from here, we're going to put one half double crochet into the next stitch from our previous row. So yarn over into that next stitch, insert your hook with one half double crochet. And then we're going to be doing another front post double crochet into that same middle stitch that our previous double crochet is into. So yarn over, insert your hook underneath that middle half double crochet, bring it through the other side, yarn over and pull through. Now that we have those three loops on our hook, we're gonna pull up nice and tall, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now that's going to be how we increase for each of our alpine stitch sections. It's always going to be a front post, double crochet, half double crochet, and front post double crochet right into that middle stitch. And what we're going to do from here is yarn over, and then half double crochet into that next stitch that we have from our previous row, so that it can match this half double crochet that we started this alpine stitch section off with. And once we have that, we're going to close this row off with our second cable for our repeat of row three. So just as a refresher, go ahead and yarn over twice and start with one front post treble crochet. From here, we're gonna be putting one front post treble crochet into each of the next two stitches. So yarn over twice, insert your hook, with one and then into that following stitch with another front post treble crochet and then we're going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets into the third and fourth stitch so yarn over three times now we're going to skip one skip two and then underneath that third with one front post double treble crochet And then one more into that following stitch.
And from here, we're going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets into that window that we just made. So start with a yarn over three, hang on to your working yarn, and pull our work down. Start by inserting your hook into that first stitch that we have that we skipped with one front post double treble crochet, and then one more front post double treble crochet into that next stitch. And now that we have this cable stitch section all finished up, we are always going to close off our odd number row with one front post treble crochet and a half double crochet into the last stitch. So yarn over twice, into our previous cable rows, front post treble, do another front post treble, and then half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. And that is our row seven. To get started on row eight, to a chain two, flip your work, and then put one half double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way down. All right, so we are all finished up with our row eight, and we are now gonna get started on our row nine together. So start with a chain two, and flip our work. Now our row nine is going to be a repeat of row five's cable stitch section, so let's get that started. Always start with a front post treble crochet, so yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, 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 and then to do the first cable stitch, we're gonna be doing a set of two front post treble crochets into the first and second stitch from our previous cable row. So yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull through, and pull through two until we have one loop left on our hook, and do that just once more into that following stitch. And now we're going to work on our twist. So starting with a front post double treble crochet, we're going to skip one, skip two, and then into that third stitch, we're going to do our first front post double treble crochet. And then into that following stitch, we're going to do another one as well. And now from here, we're going to put one front post double treble crochet into each of the stitches that we skipped, making sure we're working through that window. So yarn over three times, bring our work down, and then into that first stitch. Insert with your first front post double treble crochet. And now that that first one's done, we're gonna be doing one more into that next stitch. And then now that this cable is all finished up, we're gonna close it off with a front post treble crochet. And now that our first cable is all finished up, we're going to do our alpine stitch section again together. So when it comes to doing our alpine stitches, each of our stitches are going to be staggered. So where there was a half double crochet from our previous row, a front post double crochet is gonna go into there. And then where there was a front post double crochet into the previous row, a half double crochet is going to go on top of that. So as you guys can see, the first stitch that I have right here is a half double crochet. So we're gonna insert our hook into there with our first front post double crochet. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. And when we have three loops on our hook, we're gonna pull up nice and tall, pull through two, and pull through two. And then after this front post double crochet, we're going to do a half double crochet because the next one from our previous detail row is a front post double. So yarn over. We're gonna start by inserting a hook into the 10th stitch from our previous row, because the amount of stitches that we have right here is nine. So counting out together, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So yarn over, insert your hook into that 10th stitch. And then once we have that, we're going to do our increase since we're at the middle and the increase is going to be a front post double crochet, half double crochet, and then front post double crochet all into that middle stitch. So yarn over once, insert your hook into that middle half double crochet that we have, pull through, pull up nice and tall, pull through two, pull through two, and then half double crochet into that middle stitch or that next stitch that we have that's available. And then one more front post double crochet into that same stitch. So insert, pull through, pull up nice and tall, pull through two, pull through two. 
and that is how we're going to always increase for our alpine stitch section. And then to close off our alpine stitch section for this row number nine, we're going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch, and then a front post double crochet into that last half double crochet from our previous alpine stitch section. So start with the yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through, pull through three, and then a front post double crochet into that last half double crochet. So that is our alpine stitch section, and then we're going to close this row off with a repeat of row five's second cable. So always start with a front post treble crochet. Skip the next two stitches, and then into the next two, put one front post double treble crochet into each. And then a set of two front post double treble crochets into the two stitches that we just skipped over. And then a front post treble crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then to close off our cable row, always with one front post treble crochet, and then one half double crochet from our previous row. Now that our row nine's all finished up, we're going to do a chain two, flip our work, and then work our way back with one half double crochet into every stitch. All right, so I'm back and I have just finished up my row 10. Our row 11 is gonna start with a chain two and a flip. Now from here, our cable stitch sections aren't going to change. So start our cable stitch section off with a repeat of row three, and then I will meet you guys back just to remind you guys how our alpine stitch section is going to start when we're doing our repeat of row three, and then you're gonna close off this row by yourself. Now, if you guys need timestamps for any of the cable stitch sections, all those will be in the description. We'll go ahead and get this one all finished up, and I'll meet you guys back when we're ready to do our alpine. All right, so our cable stitch section is all finished up, and now we're gonna get started on our alpine stitch section. Now, for every repeat of row three's alpine section, we're always gonna start off with a half double crochet into the ninth stitch from our previous row. And just as a really quick tip so that you know what row it is, the first stitch that we have from our previous cable stitch row is a front post double crochet, and like I said, all of our stitches need to be staggered. So we're gonna start this row with a half double crochet. So here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Into that ninth stitch, I'm going to do a half double crochet, and then into that next stitch that I have for my previous cable row is a half double crochet, so we're going to do our front post double crochet. So pull up nice and tall, pull through two, pull through two, and then the next stitch that we have from our previous row is a front post double crochet. So we're going to half double crochet into the previous row. So yarn over. We are gonna skip a stitch because if we work into this stitch, we're going to be accidentally increasing too much because this front post double crochet counts as this stitch. So skip that next stitch and then insert with a half double and then we should be around the middle. And from here, we're gonna do the same increases that we've been doing. So that's going to be a front post double crochet into that middle stitch, a half double crochet into that next stitch that we have from our previous row, and then one more front post double crochet into that middle stitch. And then from here, we're going to do a half double crochet into that next stitch because the next stitch that we have over here is a front post double crochet. The next stitch that we have right here is a half double crochet. So put one front post double crochet into there. And then to close it off, skip one stitch, one half double crochet. So quick tip that I have for every alpine stitch section, doesn't matter what row repeat you're on, it's always going to start and end on the same stitch. But now that we have this, go ahead and finish off this cable stitch row with our second cable from row three to a chain two, flip your work, and then put one half double crochet into every stitch. I'll get started with the next row off with you guys and let you guys go on your own. So our row 12 is all finished up. That was our half double crochet row. 
and I'm just going to get row 13's alpine stitch section started off with you guys and I'll let you guys do the rest on your own. So row 13 is going to be a repeat of row 5's cable. So get started on row 5's first cable and I'll meet you guys back just to talk you guys through how to do the alpine stitch section. So our repeat of row 5's first cable is all finished up and now we're going to do our alpine stitch section together. So for our row five alpine stitch section, it's always gonna start with a front post double crochet worked into the first half double crochet that we have from our previous cable row. So start with the yarn over into that first half double crochet, insert with your first front post double crochet, and then our first half double crochet is always going to be worked into the 10th stitch from our previous row. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then half double crochet into that 10th stitch. Now from here, we're going to do a front post double crochet into the next half double crochet that we have from our previous row. Yarn over, pull through, yank up nice and tall, pull through two, pull through two. And then the next stitch that we have is a front post double crochet. So we're gonna half double crochet into that next stitch. So start with the yarn over, skip the next stitch, because this front post double crochet counts as this stitch. And then into the following, there's our half double. Now for this row, we should be right where our middle section is, and that's gonna be our increase. So always do a front post double crochet into that middle half double crochet. Half double crochet into that next stitch from our previous row. And then one more front post double crochet into that middle stitch. And then now that we have that, we are going to half double crochet into the next stitch that we have because the next stitch that we have from our previous row is a front post double. And then put one front post double crochet into that next half double crochet from our previous row. Yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. Skip that next stitch, half double crochet into the next. And then just to close off this alpine stitch section, one front post double crochet. And just to double check, we did start and end with a front post double crochet. So go ahead and close off this cable stitch section, do a chain two, flip your work, half double crochet back down, and then I'll meet you guys back at the end of that row. All right, so our half double crochet row is all finished up and all together we should have a total of 14 rows. Now we're going to keep repeating our rows 11 through 14 with proper increases into the alpine stitch section until the alpine section is as wide of the base of our neck. Now don't worry if this doesn't cover your chest, I will meet you guys back to show you how to extend it if you need to, but I'll meet you guys back right after we finish up a repeat of row five. All right, I'm back with my detail portion. I have a total of 17 rows and this height is just about six inches or 15 centimeters and my alpine stitch section is just about four inches or 10 centimeters. Now this is the width that I need my alpine stitch section to be, but I'd like this to have just a little bit more coverage. So if you guys like the height that you're at, go ahead and keep it here. But if you like more coverage like me, I'll show you how to do that right now. So just to do this, go ahead and get started on your next half double crochet row, and then get started with a repeat of our row three cable, and then I'll show you guys how to lengthen the alpine section right after that. All right, so I've just made my way down with my half double crochet and my repeat of row three's first cable. And now all we're gonna do is do our alpine stitches, making our way all the way across with no increases and no decreases. So the first alpine stitch that we should do is a half double crochet. So we're going to count out eight stitches from the previous row and then half double crochet into the ninth. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. Insert with a half double crochet, yarn over, and then into the first half double crochet from our previous cable row, insert with a front post double. Next stitch is a half double crochet, so yarn over. Skip the next stitch because this stitch counts as this front post double crochet, and then half double crochet into the next. And that is it. We're going to continue to do our front post double crochets and our half double crochets, making our way all the way across. 
All right, so I've just made my way all the way across with my alpine stitch section with no increases. We should have all ended on a half double crochet stitch. And from here, we're just going to close this row off with a repeat of row three's second cable. Do a chain two, half double crochet back, get started with a repeat of row five's first cable, and I'm just gonna get started on the next alpine stitch section with you guys. All right, so our half double crochet row is all finished up. A repeat of row five's first cable is also all finished. And now we're just going to do the next row of our alpine stitch together. And this one isn't going to have any increases or decreases either because we're just working on the length right now. So all we're going to do is yarn over. And since the first stitch from our previous cable stitch row is a half double crochet, we're going to be doing a front post double crochet into there. So insert your hook underneath, pull through, pull up nice and tall, pull through two, pull through two. And then we're going to half double crochet into the 10th stitch from our previous row. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then from here, just continue to stagger all of our stitches. So put one front post double crochet into the half double crochet from our previous cable row, and then one half double crochet on top of our front post double crochet from our previous cable row. I'll meet you guys back once we reach the second cable stitch. All right, so my alpine stitch section for this repeat of row five is all finished. All we're going to do is finish off this row with the second cable for our row five repeat. And then if you guys still need this to be a little bit taller, just continue to do our four previous rows that we just did with each other until you get the height that you need. Now I want mine to be cropped. So I'm gonna be placing this first row just about two inches underneath my bust, making sure that this goes all the way up to mid chest. And then I'll meet you guys back right after we finish a repeat of row five. All right, so I am back and I have a total of 21 rows and my height is just about eight inches or 20 centimeters. Now we should have all ended on our repeat of row five and now we're gonna get started on our strap. So how we're gonna get started on this strap is start by doing a chain two, flip our work and we're gonna start by doing nine half double crochets. So yarn over into that first stitch Insert with one half double crochet. There's my first. Yarn over into that next stitch. Insert with another half double crochet. I'll meet you guys back when we have a total of nine half double crochets. And now that we have our half double crochet all finished up, we're going to do a chain two, flip our work, and now we're just going to continue on with our cable stitch until this reaches all the way up to our shoulder. So let's just do the next cable stitch row off with you guys. Now we're going to bring our pillars up with us. So we're always going to start and end with a front post treble crochet. And now that we have our pillar, we're going to get started on the cable. So start with a yarn over of two, and it's going to be one front post treble crochet into each of the next two stitches. A set of two front post double treble crochets into the third and fourth stitch. So yarn over three times, skip one, skip two, and then into the next with one front post double treble crochet, and then into the following with another. And then a set of two front post double treble crochets into the two stitches that we skipped, working into that window that we just made. So yarn over three times. Hang on to your yarn and pull your work down. Find that first stitch and insert with one front post double treble crochet. And then into that following stitch with another front post double treble crochet. Once we have that, we are going to close this off with a pillar, which is a front post treble, and then a half double crochet. And this is the first row for our strap all finished up. And our next row is going to be a half double crochet row. So just chain two, flip your work, and then half double crochet all the way down. So we've made our way all the way down with our half double crochet. And all we're going to do is chain two, flip our work, to the next cable stitch row with you guys. And then it's just going to be a repeat until we get the length that we need. Now we should already know which cable is up next. So start with one front post treble crochet. And this next cable is going to start 
with a set of two front post double treble crochets into the third and fourth stitch. So we're going to skip one, skip two, into that third stitch with one front post double treble crochet, and then into the following with another front post double treble crochet. Now into those two stitches that we skipped, one front post double treble crochet into each of those, and then close this cable off with two front post treble crochets, and then end the row off with one front post treble crochet, and then one half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. And from here, we're just going to keep repeating our four rows that we did with each other until this reaches all the way up to the top of our shoulder, making sure that we end on a cable stitch row. Do a chain of component cut once we have that all finished up, and then I'll meet you guys back just to show you guys how we're going to do the other side. So I am back and I have just finished up my strap. I now have a total of 43 rows and just my strap is eight inches or 20 centimeters or my total length is 15 inches or 38 centimeters. And we're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side. So what we're first gonna do is flip our work over. And then from this outer edge, we're gonna start by counting in eight stitches. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We are gonna insert our hook into that stitch. And then from there, all we're going to do is a half double crochet row. So start by inserting your yarn onto your hook, pull through, and do a chain two. Now this chain two doesn't count as a stitch, we just need the height. And we're gonna start by putting our first half double crochet into that same stitch that our chain two's in. So yarn over into that same stitch. We're gonna insert with our first half double and then continue to put one half double crochet into every stitch working towards the outer edge. We should have a total of eight half double crochets. Now, right after our half double crochet row, we're going to do a chain two, flip our work, and we're going to start with our cable. So this cable is going to start with a repeat of row three's first cable. So start with one front post treble crochet, and then we're going to start with a set of two front post double treble crochets into the third and the fourth stitch. And then we're going to do another set of two front post double treble crochets into those two stitches that we skipped. And then into my last two stitches that I have right here, we're going to put one front post treble crochet into each of those. So now that our cable stitch section is all finished off, into that last stitch, which is our pillar, is going to always be a front post treble crochet. and then half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. So yarn over, insert your hook with a half double crochet, and that's there just to keep it nice and secure. Now, just to get started with the next row off of you guys, do a chain two, flip your work, and then put one half double crochet into every stitch, working our way all the way back down. All right, so now that our third row is all finished up for the strap. We're just going to do one more row with each other and it's going to be a repeat of our four previous rows. So start with the chain two, flip your work, and start with a front post treble crochet like always. And then to get started on our first cable for our row five repeat, we're going to insert our hook into that first stitch with one front post treble crochet. And then also into that following stitch with another front post treble crochet. Next, we are going to skip the next two stitches and then into the two following stitches. We're gonna put one front post double treble crochet into each of those. Next, another set of two front post double treble crochets worked into that window that we just made. So pull our work down into that first stitch with one front post double treble, and then into that following stitch, one more. And then to close off this row, one front post treble crochet into the pillar from our previous cable row. And then just to secure this row down, one half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. 
And from here, we're just going to continue to repeat our four rows that we just did with each other for the same amount of rows that we have along this side. Do a chain up a one and cut once we have that all finished up, and then I will meet you guys back. I am back and I have just finished up both of my straps. And now we can get started on our side panel. So what we're gonna do is first switch out our hook to our six millimeter hook, and then insert our hook into the bottom corner stitch. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure, and all we're gonna do is put one single crochet into every side row, making our way all the way up. So to do this first one, we're gonna find that first gap for our side row. Insert your hook into there with one single crochet. Move on to our next side row, which this is mine right here. Find that top loop and insert with one single crochet. And then just once more, this is my next side row. Insert into there with one single crochet. Continue to put one single crochet into every side row and I'll meet you back at the top. All right, so now that we have made our way all the way up with our single crochet row, we're next going to do an extended half double crochet row. So how that's gonna work is at the end of our row, we're going to do a chain three and flip our work. And what we're gonna do since we're along the top is an increase of two extended half double crochets into that first stitch. And we're going to increase into the top and decrease into the bottom because our strap is at a slant. So how we're gonna do that is start with the yarn over and insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through. Once we have those three loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over, pull through that first loop, and then we should still have three loops on our hook, so we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. There's the first one, and we're actually gonna be doing one more into that same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same first stitch, pull through. We're gonna yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three of those loops. Now that is our increase of two extended half double crochets. And we're just gonna be putting one into every stitch until we have two left. So let's just do the next few together. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through three, and then again, yarn over, insert into that next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through three. And I'll meet you guys back when we have two stitches left. All right, so now that we have made our way all the way down with our extended half double crochets, we should have all left two stitches left and now we're going to do a decrease. So how that's gonna work is we're gonna start with the yarn over, insert your hook into that second to last stitch, pull through, insert your hook into that last stitch, and pull through. Now we should have four loops on our hook and what we're gonna do from here is yarn over, and pull through the first two loops because we ultimately want three loops on our hook. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through the first and that second loop. Now there are three loops. So just yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now that's how we do our decrease. Now since we're along the bottom, like I said, we're going to do decreases along the bottom and increases along the top. So let's get started on this next row's decrease. So start with a chain three and flip your work. And from here on out, they are gonna be within the back loops as well, so let's get that started. Start with the yarn over. Insert your hook into that first available stitch's back loop, or the loop that's furthest away from us, and pull through. Also insert your hook into that next stitch's back loop, yarn over, pull through. When we have those four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, should have three loops on our hook now, so yarn over, and pull through all three of those loops. And from here, we're going to continue to put one extended half double crochet into every back loop until we have just one stitch left. So let's just do the next one. Start with the yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch's back loop and pull through, yarn over, pull through one, should have three loops on our hook, so yarn over, pull through all three and I'll meet you back when we have just one stitch left. So we've just made our way all the way up with our back loop extended half double crochet row. We left that last stitch and now we're going to do an increase together. So start with the yarn over, 
And then into that last back loop, we're going to insert with one back loop extended half double crochet. And then for the increase, we're going to be putting one more into that same last back loop. And that is it. From here, we're just going to continue to repeat this row of extended back loop half double crochets with an increase of two along the top and a decrease of two along the bottom until this bottom portion right here meets mid underarm. So right where our side is. Once we have that, I will meet you guys back just to talk you guys through how we're gonna do the other side. All right, so I am back with my side panel. Counting our first single crochet row, I have a total of nine rows. And just this width is about five and a half inches or 14 centimeters. Or the total width of my base is just about 10 inches or 25 centimeters. And all we're going to do now is repeat everything that we just did here on the other side. So just as a refresher, I'm going to be inserting my six millimeter hook into the corner stitch. And then we're going to put one single crochet into every side row. And then we're going to do an extended half double crochet row, remembering that we are going to do a decrease of two along the bottom and an increase of two along the top. And then right after that second row of extended half double crochets, all the rows will then be within the back loops with extended half double crochets with the proper decreases and increases that I just stated. Go ahead and make sure that we have the same amount of rows as our other side panel to a chain of a one cut, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I am back with the entirety of my front panel. The base of my front panel is just about 15 inches or 38 centimeters. I did do a chain of a one cut, and now we can get started on the back. Now, before we can get started on the back, we're going to have to figure out how many rows we're gonna actually end up doing. So we're gonna start working from the middle and work our way out. We're gonna start by taking the same amount of stitches for just our alpine stitch detail and cut that in half. Now it will be an odd number, so we're going to have to subtract by one and then cut that in half so it's easier to split. So as an example, I have a total of 15 stitches right here. I'm gonna subtract one, which gives me 14, and then splitting that in half is going to be seven. And those seven extended half double crochet rows will be just about the same width as my alpine stitch detail. So go ahead and keep that number in mind. Next, we have our two cable stitch sections, and this is going to be the same for everyone. We're going to do about four rows per cable stitch section because that's about the same width. And then for the side panels, we don't have to do any math for that. My nine rows will remain nine rows for my back panel. So just to add all this up together, for me, I have a total of nine rows right here, so I'm going to add nine plus four plus my seven plus four plus my nine. Now adding all this up together, I have a total of 33. So go ahead and write down your number if you guys have to. I'm going to be doing a total of 33 back panel rows. Once we have figured out all that math, we can get started on the back. We're all gonna start by taking our six millimeter hook and make a chain the same amount of stitches that we have for our last side panel row. So if you guys have my numbers, I had a total of 43 stitches. So I'm gonna make a chain of 43. And now that I have my chain, I'm going to block off my last chain into a chain of three. Now that chain doesn't count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain. And from here, we're going to put one extended half double crochet into every chain. So starting with the yarn over, we're gonna insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the fourth chain from our hook. Go ahead and insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over and pull through three. Now continue to put one extended half double crochet into every chain. And now that our extended half double crochet row is all finished up, for the rest of the side panel, they're just going to be rows of back loop extended half double crochets with no increases and no decreases. So let's just get this next row started off together. And that's always gonna start with a chain three and flip your work. We're gonna yarn over, preparing for an extended half double crochet. Find that first stitch and insert your hook only into that back loop. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through three. And we're gonna continue to do this, making our way all the way down. Now, like I said in the previous clip, I need to do a total of 33 rows, so I'm gonna do that. Get your rows done, and then I will meet you guys back so we can seam everything together. All right, so I am back with my 33 back panel rows. 
My width is just about 18 inches or 41 centimeters and what we're going to do from here is seam the front and back panel together. So we're going to lay our back panel down and then we're going to grab the top of our front panel and lay the cable down towards the back. And once we have our front panel on top of our back panel, we're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch of both the front and back panel and then we're going to do a single crochet seam. Now we're going to start by inserting our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And since we're on the outside, we have a bunch of side extended half double crochets to work into first. So all we're going to do is put two single crochets into each, making sure they're working in through both the front and the back panel. So just to do the first one, we're going to find that first side row from our front panel, and then find the first side row from our back panel. Insert your hook into there with one single crochet. And then we're going to be putting two into the same loops. So go ahead and insert your hook into that same loop into our front panel, same loop into our back panel, and then single crochet them together. Now let's do the next one. Into that next stitch, into the front panel, insert your hook into that side loop. Next side loop into the back panel, insert your hook, and single crochet once. And then once more into that same side loop into both the front and back panel at the same time. Now this should be a little bit easier since they are gathered. That's my front panel. That's my back panel. I'm just going to single crochet them together. And from here, we're going to continue on with this pattern, making our way all the way down until we reach our first side single crochet row that we have along the side of our cable stitch section. All right, so I've just finished up the first half of my shoulder seam, and that was just two single crochets into every side extended half double crochet. And next we should have our one single crochet row, and then all of our stitches on top of our cable. So what we're gonna do is put one single crochet into the side single crochet row, but continue to put two single crochets into every side double crochet row along the back. So we're gonna find that top single crochet row and insert your hook. And then we're gonna find that next available stitch, that we have into the back panel and then insert with one single crochet. Now my next stitch that I have is the next stitch into my cable. So I'm going to insert my hook into the top of that loop. And then we're going to be putting one more single crochet into that same side extended half double crochet that we just worked into. So there is one, two single crochets, and then it's worked into that one side extended half double into the back. Let's just do one more of these sets. So find that next stitch that you have and insert your hook. We're gonna find that next side extended half double crochet into the back panel and insert your hook with one single crochet. And then we're gonna find that next stitch and find that same side extended half double into the back panel and single crochet. And we're gonna to continue to do this until we don't have any more stitches left. Go ahead and do a chain of a one and cut and then repeat everything that we just did here on the other side. All right, so we have just finished up both of our shoulder seams and now we're going to work on the side seam. So what we're gonna need to do is insert our hook into any stitch that we want from the top. And that's right where we want our armhole to be. So if you guys want a bat wing, go ahead and insert your stitch marker lower. If you want a tighter sleeve, go ahead and insert your stitch marker higher. But I have inserted my stitch marker into the 24th stitch from the top. And this is just about seven inches or 18 centimeters. And what we're gonna do from here is do a single crochet seam, making our way all the way up until we reach our stitch marker. So we wanna make sure that our work is still flipped wrong side out. And we're gonna start by inserting a hook into the corner stitch of the front and corner stitch of the back panel. We're gonna insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And now to do our single crochet seam, we're gonna insert our hook into that next available stitch into the front panel and then also into that next available stitch into the back panel. And then once we have that, we are going to single crochet them together. And that's it, let's do this again. Find that next stitch into the front panel, find the next stitch into the back panel, and then single crochet them together. And continue our single crochet seam, making our way all the way up. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut, and then repeat everything that we just did here on the other side. So now that everything is all seamed up, we're ready to get started on the hood. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our work is flipped right side out and that we're looking at the back panel. 
And then what we're going to do is single crochet along the neck hole. So start by inserting your hook into any one of our side extended half double crochet rows. Insert your yarn onto your hook and pull through with a chain one to secure. Now from here, all we're going to do is put two single crochets into every side extended half double crochet row until we reach our cable stitch section. So just to do the first one, this is my first side extended half double crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook into there with one and then into that same loop with two. And we're going to continue to do this until we reach the side of our cable stitch section. And now that we have just single crocheted across the back, now we're going to put one single crochet into every side half double crochet row that we have right here. So let's find our first one. So this is my first side half double crochet row right here. I'm going to insert my hook with just one single crochet. I'm going to find my next side half double crochet, insert my hook into there with just one. And that's it for this section. We're going to continue to put one single crochet into every side row. And then once we reach our alpine stitch detail, we're going to be putting one single crochet into the tops of each of these stitches, one single crochet into every side half double crochet row, making our way all the way back up. Slip stitch into that chain space that we made when we started this section off, and then I will meet you guys back. So we've just finished up putting one single crochet, making our way all the way around for our neck hole, and now we're going to make a little collar. So right after we did our slip stitch, we're going to have to do a half double crochet row. So we're going to start with a chain two and just make your way all the way around, putting one half double crochet into every stitch. So start with a yarn over, insert your hook with one half double crochet. I'll meet you guys back once we made our way all the way around. So my half double crochet row is all finished up. I'm going to show you how we're going to close it off and how we're going to do the collar. So how to close off our half double crochet row, we're going to start by counting up one, two chains. Into that second chain that we made when we started off this row, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. And now this row is all closed off. And now from here, all we're going to do is a bunch of front and back post double crochets. So start with a chain two for the height. From here, we're going to yarn over once. And then we're going to find that first half double crochet from our previous row. Insert your hook underneath the body of that half double crochet. Yarn over and pull through. From here, we should have three loops on our hook. So we're just going to do a front post double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So very close to the front post double crochet that we have at the Alpine, except we aren't yanking up. So let's do the next one. And that's going to be a back post double crochet. So start with a yarn over. We're going to find the next half double crochet from our previous row. And now we're going to bring our hook underneath our work and then through that next gap. So underneath, bring your hook up over the next half double crochet. And from here, we're going to yarn over and pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now all together, we should have one set, which is one front post double and then a back post double. So let's do another set together. Start with the yarn over. Find the next half double crochet from our previous row and insert your hook underneath that body and through the other side. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then let's do a back post double crochet. So start with the yarn over, bring our hook underneath our work, and then over that next half double crochet body and through the other side. Yarn over and pull through. Should have three loops on our hook, so yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now all together, we should have one front post, one back post, one front post, and one back post. We're going to continue to do this, making our way all the way around. And when we don't have any more stitches left, slip stitch into that second chain that we made, do a chain up one and cut, and then we can get started on the hood. All right, so now that our collar is all finished up, we're now gonna get started on the hood. So the first thing we're going to want to do is one, make sure that our work is slipped right side out. And then we're gonna insert our stitch marker into the collar where we want our hood to start. So I have measured just about an inch underneath my collarbone and I've inserted my stitch markers into those stitches, but we do wanna make sure that we have an even number of stitches from stitch marker to stitch marker. And once we have that, we are all gonna start by inserting our six millimeter hook into the left stitch marker stitch. 
Now from there, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of two. Now that chain two doesn't count as a stitch, we just want the height. And making our way all the way around to this next stitch marker, we're actually gonna be doing an increase of two half double crochets into every stitch. So let's get that started. Start with the yarn over, and the first increase of two is gonna be worked into that same stitch marker stitch that we're currently in. So insert your hook into there with one half double crochet first, and then into that same stitch marker stitch with our second half double crochet. Let's do that again. Into that next stitch that we have, there's going to be another increase of two, so yarn over, into that next stitch with one, and then into that same stitch with our second half double crochet. And that's all we're gonna do, making our way all the way around until we insert our last increase of two into that stitch marker over here on this side. All right, so our first half double crochet row is all finished up. From here, we need to do one more half double crochet row, but the second one isn't gonna have any increases or decreases. So just do a chain two, flip our work, and then put one half double crochet into every stitch. And I'll meet you back at the end of this row. All right, so now that our row two for our hood is all finished up, we're gonna get started on our row number three for our first alpine stitch row. Since we already know how to do that, I'm just gonna do the first two sets with you guys. So start with a chain two and flip your work. Now this is going to start with a half double crochet. So yarn over and insert your hook into that first stitch with a half double crochet. And then our front post double crochet is gonna be worked into the second half double crochet from our row one. So yarn over, preparing for our front post double crochet. And taking a look at our row one, we are not gonna count that chain two. So counting that first half double crochet, there's one. And then underneath the second is where we're gonna insert our hook. So insert your hook underneath that half double crochet, yarn over, pull through. Now, since this is the alpine stitch portion, we are going to pull up nice and tall. And then from there, we're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's our first set, let's just do one more. Starting with the yarn over, we're going to half double crochet, making sure that we're skipping over the next stitch from our previous row because this front post double crochet counts as this stitch, and then into the next, one half double crochet, and then a front post double crochet. So yarn over, we're going to skip the next half double crochet from our row one because this half double crochet counts as this stitch, and then into the half double crochet right next to that. Insert, yarn over, pull through. Yank up nice and tall, pull through two, and pull through two. And we're gonna continue to do this until we have two stitches left so that I can show you guys how we're going to secure down our front post double crochet. All right, so we are just about ready to finish up our row number three or our first alpine stitch row. We do have just two stitches left to do, so let's get that started. The last stitch that I did was a front post double crochet, so I'm going to yarn over, skip one stitch from our previous row, and then half double crochet into the next, so that is pretty normal. And then after this, our last stitch for the row is going to be a front post double crochet combined with a half double crochet just to make sure that it is secure. So what we're gonna do is yarn over, and then into the last stitch that we have from our row one, we're going to insert our hook underneath there, yarn over, and pull through. Once we have those three loops in our hook, we're gonna pull up nice and tall, yarn over, and pull through the first two loops. And now that we have just two loops left on our hook, we're going to yarn over and then insert our hook into the last stitch that we have from our previous row. We're going to yarn over, pull through, and now that we have four loops left, all we're gonna do is yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. Now that is how we are always going to end our repeat of row three or the rows that end on a front post double crochet. Now from here, we need to make our way back. So do a chain two and then put one half double crochet into every stitch. I will meet you guys back along this end just to show you guys how we're gonna get started with the next row and then let you guys do the rest on your own. All right, so our half double crochet row is all finished up. I'm just gonna get started on this next alpine row with you guys and let you guys make the length of your hood. So after this half double crochet row, do a chain two, flip our work. 
And since our previous alpine stitch row started with a half double, we know that our stitches need to be staggered, so now we're going to start with a front post double crochet. So we're going to find the first half double crochet from our previous alpine row, so we're going to skip over our last half double crochet row. Insert your hook underneath that first half double crochet, pull through, pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two, and then we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, skip one stitch because this front post double crochet counts as this stitch, and half double crochet into the next. And that's it. We're going to continue on with this stitch pattern, making our way all the way around. We reach the end of our row, do a chain two, flip our work, and then half double crochet back, and then start with a repeat of row three, and continue to do that until this reaches the top of our head, making sure that we end on an alpine stitch row. All right, so I am back with the length of my hood. I have a total of 33 rows, and that's roughly 14 and a half inches or 37 centimeters. And now that we have the height, all we're going to do now is seam it. So the first thing that we're going to do is flip our hood inside out because this is going to be a single crochet seam and we want the seam to be along the inside. Once we've done that, we're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch of the back panel, yarn over, pull through everything, and this is going to be the same seam as our sides and our shoulders, so I'm just going to do the first one with you guys. So we're all going to start by finding that first stitch into the front panel, and then find the first stitch into the back panel, and then just single crochet them together. And that's it. We're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way down. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain of one and cut. So now that our hood is all finished up, we can now get started on the bottom band. So what we're going to do is take our six millimeter hook and insert it into any one of our bottom rows. Insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and then do a chain up of one to secure. Now all we're going to do from here is alternate between one to two single crochets into every side extended half double crochet row, making our way all the way around, but keeping in mind that we will have the bottom of our cable stitch detail to work into, so that's just going to be one single crochet into each of those stitches. So just to do the first few off with you guys, we're going to find our first extended half double crochet row. We're going to insert our hook into there, starting with just one single crochet. Now, after that, we're going to find our next side extended half double crochet row and insert your hook into there with two. So there's one and then into that same side loop. There's my second and that's it. We're going to keep alternating like this, making our way all the way around. So let's just get the next one started off with each other. This is my next side row. I'm going to insert into there with just one. There we go. And this is my next side row. I'm going to now insert my hook into there with two. So there's one and there's two. Continue to do this, making our way all the way around. Go ahead and slip stitch into that chain space that we made. And then I'll meet you guys back so we can get started on the length of our bottom band. All right, so our single crochet row is all finished up and now we're going to start working on the length of our band. So we're all gonna start by making a chain the length that we want our band to be and I want mine to be just about two inches or five centimeters. So I'm gonna start by making a chain of 12. So now that we have our chain, we are going to block off that last chain and do a chain one. Now that chain doesn't count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain. And now we're going to slip stitch into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook. So we're going to bring our hook down, insert your hook into that chain. From here, we should have two loops on our hook. So all we're going to do is yarn over and pull through both of those loops, making sure that when we finish the stitch, we aren't tugging on the working yarn because otherwise the following rows are going to be really hard to work into. So let's do this again. Into that following chain, insert your hook into there. We're going to yarn over and pull through both of those loops. And that's it. We're going to continue to put one slip stitch into every chain. And now that we put one slip stitch into every chain, we need to connect it into the base. So we're going to start by finding that first available stitch. And we're going to slip stitch into there to close off this first row. So yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. And once we have that, we're going to slip stitch up that next available stitch and then do back loop slip stitches, making our way all the way down. So slip stitch into that next stitch to work our way up to the next row. Flip your work. And now we're going to do back loop slip stitches. 
So find that first stitch from our previous row and then insert your hook into that first stitch's back loop. Yarn over, pull through everything, remembering not to tug on your working yarn, and let's do just one more. Into that next back loop, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And now that we're at the end of our row two, we're going to do a chain one, flip your work, and then continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch until we reach the base. And then I'll meet you guys back so we can connect it into the base together once more. And now that we're at the end of our row three, we are gonna connect it into the base. So just find that next stitch, slip stitch into there to close this row off. And then just to work our way up to the next row, find that next stitch, slip stitch into there, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And just keep repeating these two rows until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. And then I'll meet you guys back so we can seam everything together. So I've just made my way all the way around with my back loop slip stitch rows. And we don't have any more stitches left to work into. So all we're going to do from here is seam everything together. Now this seam is going to be an outside loop slip stitch seam. So we're all going to start by making sure that our work is still flipped right side out. And then what we're gonna do from here is into the front panel, we're gonna find that first available stitch and insert into that front loop only. So go ahead and insert your hook into there. Should have two loops on our hook. And then we're also gonna find that first stitch into the back panel. And then we're gonna insert our hook into that back loop only. So the outside loops should have three loops on our hook. So from here, just yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Now let's do that again into that next stitch, insert your hook in through that front loop, and then into the back panel, insert your hook in through that back loop, yarn over and pull through everything. And we're going to continue to do that until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. And when we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut. Okay, so now that our bottom band is all seamed up, the next thing we're going to work on is our sleeve. So the first thing we're going to do is start by inserting our six millimeter hook into the stitch that we have that's right next to our side seam. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and we're going to start by doing a chain three. And then from here, we're just going to make our way all the way around, putting one back loop extended half double crochet into every stitch. So I'm just going to do the first one off with you guys and let you guys do the rest of this row on your own. So we're going to start with the yarn over and insert your hook into that first stitches back loop, yarn over, pull through. Shut off three loops on our hook, so yarn over, pull through the first, yarn over, pull through all three, and continue to do this until we don't have any more stitches left. Right, so now that our first extended half double crochet row is all finished up, we're now going to connect it into that third chain that we made when we started off this row. Flip our work and then keep repeating until we have a total of four rows because then we're going to decrease into the fifth. So just to show you guys how we're going to close off this row is we're going to find that chain that we made when we started off this row. We're all going to start by counting up one, two, three chains. Into that third chain, I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, and pull through everything so that this first row is nice and secure. And just to get started on the next row, we are always gonna start it with a chain three and flip our work. We wanna make sure that we are flipping our work because we want the ribbing to match the front and back panels. We'll go ahead and do that until we have a total of four of these rows with no increases and no decreases. All right, so I am back with the first four rows of my sleeve and now we're going to decrease into the fifth. So just to show you guys, I have one, two, three, four rows with no increases and no decreases, and those are all back loop extended half double crochets. I've already slip stitched into that chain three space. And then for the decrease row, all we're gonna do is chain three, and then we're gonna decrease into the first two and into the last two stitches into this row. So just to do the first one, we do still wanna make sure that we're flipping our work. We're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitches back loop, pull through, also into that next stitches back loop and pull through. Should have four loops on our hook, so yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, and pull through all three. 
And then from here, continue to put one back loop extended half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two so that we can decrease again. All right, so we have just made our way all the way around with our fifth row, and we have left the last two stitches just so that we can decrease together once more. So start with the yarn over, and we're going to insert our hook into that second to last back loop, pull through. Also insert your hook into that last back loop, pull through, should be four loops on our hook, so yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through three, and then to close off this row, we are going to count up one, two, three chains. Into that third chain, slip stitch into there to close off this row, and then repeat. So we're going to continue to do four rows of back loop extended half double crochets, and then into the fifth row, we are always going to do a decrease the same way that we did this one. So just increase into the first two and into the last two stitches. We're going to keep repeating this five row sequence until this reaches about where our elbow is, making sure that we end on a decrease row, and then I'll show you guys how to lengthen it from there. All right, so I am back and I'm all finished with the first half of my sleeve. So counting from this first row that we did, I have a total of 15 rows. That means that I only have one, two, three decrease rows. And what we're going to do from here is something very similar until we get the length that we want our sleeve to be. So the last row that we did should have been a decrease row. So all we're going to do now is do two extended back loop half double crochet rows. And then we're going to do a decrease, the same decrease, into that third row. So I'm just going to get started on this next row off with you guys. I'm going to do my chain three, flip my work. I'm going to do one row of back loop extended half double crochets, slip stitch, chain three, and then another row of back loop extended half double crochets. And then I'll meet you guys back just to remind you guys how we're going to do our decrease. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up my two rows of back loop extended half double crochets with no increases and no decreases. And I'm just back to remind you guys that now from here until where we want the sleeve portion to end, keeping in mind that we will have a cuff as well, we're now gonna be decreasing into the third rows. So I have one, I have two, and just to get the third row started off with you guys, we're going to do a chain three, flip our work, and then start with a decrease of two back loop extended half double crochets. And then once we have our decrease all finished up, put one back loop extended half double crochet into every stitch while decreasing into the last two stitches. And we're just gonna keep repeating this three row sequence until we get the length of the sleeve that we want. I'll meet you guys back so we can get started on the cuff. All right, so I am back with the length of my sleeve. I ended up having a total of 27 rows, and from here, we're going to do our cuff. So the first thing we're going to have to do is switch out to our five millimeter hook, and then start by making a chain the length that we want our cuff to be. Now, I want my cuff to be just about two inches or five centimeters, so I'm gonna start by making a chain of 15. Now that we have our chain, we are going to block off that last chain, do a chain one, and then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're gonna insert with a slip stitch. So go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over and pull through everything, remembering not to tug too tightly after we finish one stitch. And from here, we're going to be putting one slip stitch into every chain. And now that we've put one slip stitch into every chain, we're gonna slip stitch it into the base. Now this is gonna be done the same exact way that we did our bottom band, so let's just do the first set together. Start by finding that next available stitch into the base, and then insert with a slip stitch, and then just to work our way up to the next row, find that next stitch into the base, slip stitch into there, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And then from here at the end of the row, do a chain one, flip your work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch again, making your way all the way down, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. I'll meet you guys back when we don't have any more stitches left, just so we can do our outside loop slip stitch seam together one more time. All right, so we have just made our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitch rows. We don't have any more stitches left to work into, so now we're just going to do another outside loop slip stitch seam. Now the seam is going to be the exact same seam that we did for the bottom band. So we're just going to do the first one together. And the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that our work is flipped right side out. 
Next, we are going to insert our hook into the corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. And then we're going to yarn over, pull through everything to secure. From here, we're going to do a chain one and find that first stitch into the front panel and insert only in through that front loop. Once we have that, we're going to find that first stitch into the back panel and only insert into that back loop. Should have three loops on our hook, so just yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And that is it. Once we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up a one and cut, and then repeat everything that we just did here on the other side. All right, and now that both of our sleeves are all finished up, we are all done. The last thing we're gonna have to do is weave in all of our ends. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Check us out on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.